Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. Now as some of you may know, and some of you may suspect, I am not what you would consider a tall man. I'll take it one step further. I am what most of you would consider a short man. At a towering five foot six and a half, I am indeed a shorty. But fear not, my vertically challenged brothers. This video is dedicated to you. It's my version of style and fashion smoke and mirrors. So today, we're talking about how to dress to look taller. Now, for those of you who can actually see when walking through a crowd, and by see I'm talking about where you're going and not the gentleman's back who's in front of you, these examples and tricks can be used for you as well. They are appropriate for men of all statures. By using these tips and tricks, they are going to make you appear that much more Adonis-like. Oh joy. But for us shorties, they're not only a good idea, they are a necessity. Now many of these tips I've talked about in previous videos, but today we're putting them all together. We're talking big picture. As I've said a thousand times, we are trying to create a visual streamline, regardless of your height, from your neck down to your toes. When I think about dressing myself, when I think about dressing other men, I am trying to create a shape almost, and it's almost an upside down or an inverted triangle. Broad at the shoulders, tapering down all the way to the toes. So if after getting dressed in the morning, you look in the mirror and don't see an inverted triangle broad at the shoulders, tapering down to the toes, we gotta change. If you look in the mirror and see a rectangle, a square, a circle, an octagon, a parallelogram even, then you better pay attention. It's easier just to show you guys, so let's check out what I'm wearing right now. Alright, so I don't know if you can see from this distance, but uh, this is what I have on. I've got some jeans on, I've got some shoes on, I've got a shirt. Did this all just fall together? Is this all one big fashion accident? Well, I don't know, but uh, we're going to find out. Now that's me doing everything right, or the best that I can. Now, let me do everything wrong. Alright, and here's my next outfit. What do you think? Am I ready to go out? Do I look good? What? I match? Hell yeah. Alright, so let's start at the ground and work our way up. First up, shoes. Now we've talked about shoes in other videos. Remember, we're trying to create that visual streamline, that inverted triangle. Big, bulky, chunky shoes with big, ornate designs, rounded, bulky toes, big, chunky soles are making you look shorter and heavier for that matter. So if you're wearing and knocking around in those Doc Martin boots, you need to change it because they're making you look shorter. And while we're on the topic of boots, you can find boots that are streamlined, that do look great, that will elongate your body and still add a little bit of height to your body. That height comes because most boots have a substantial heel. Now, you could realistically add an inch to an inch and a half, possibly two inches to yourself by just wearing a great pair of fry boots. Now, I need to tell you, and I hope I don't have to, or you never, don't say on your internet dating profile that you're five foot eight if you're five foot six because when you're in boots, you're five foot seven and a half. Eventually, you're going to have to take those boots off and your secret is going to be blown, blown, blown out of the water. Don't do it. And while we're talking about false advertising, let's talk about lifts. For those of you who have no idea, there are inserts that men can put inside their shoe that will actually bump them up about an inch. You can't see them from the outside. They go underneath the heel in the shoe and they give you a bit of a lift. Uh, to do that or not to do that? What do you think? Don't do that. It's false advertising. It's like when a woman stuffs her bra or wears those falsy. You think to yourself, oh man, she's got some huge cans. In reality, she's got an A cup. False advertising. Don't do it. Next up, pants. Guys, do not wear pants that are too baggy and loose. I know you think they're comfortable, but they look horrendous and make you look like you're four foot six. Uh, so much room in the leg. The crotch, I've got tons of room. I got handfuls of room between my actual crotch 
and the bottom of the pants. These make my pant or my legs look like they're about a foot long. Not good. Also, look at all this bunching and bagging I've got around my, my ankle. That's not good as well because it's creating bunches. It's eliminating that visual streamline from your waist down to your shoes. These pants are horrible and make me look like a toad. So when you're shopping for jeans or slacks, you need to look for pairs that have a lower rise. So when you, the rise being the length of the crotch, what this is going to do is actually make your legs appear longer and your body a bit more balanced. So when you try on the new pair of jeans or slacks, you reach down, mm, you're grabbing nothing but your junk, no extra fabric. We also don't want the legs too baggy. You want them to fit without being ultra tight. Also avoid pants that have pleats or cuffs. Anything that breaks up that visual streamline, we need to eliminate. Remember that. Next, let's talk about shirts. Your shirts do not need to be big and baggy. You need to look for shirts that are tailored and fitted a bit more to your body. Now, another issue is when you wear a shirt unbuttoned, or uh, not unbuttoned, untucked, you do not want that shirt to come down past your crotch. Remember, we need it to be basically in the middle of your crotch. What this is going to do is balance your upper body and lower body. When you've got a shirt that hangs way low, how long does my upper body look? How short does my lower body look? It's just not balanced. It makes you look shorter. Choose patterns that are subdued, not too over the top. And when choosing colors, go with things that are a bit more dark. That's going to actually be slimming as well as lengthening. Solid is always a great way to go. And when you put it all together, this is what you get, or something like this. But we're not finished. Oh, no, no. We got to talk about hair. That's right, hair. Hair can make you look shorter. Now some of you are like, Aaron, you lost your damn mind. <laughs> For those of you who are <laughs> sassy black ladies, that's how you probably said that. But it's true. Now I've never heard anybody else say this. This is sort of my observation. But I've worked with a lot of guys. And my personal opinion is that big hair, longer hair, uh, and longer styles look better on taller people, taller guys. Reason being is that it's about balance. If you're short and you've got big bushy hair, it makes you look like your head's really big and your body's really small and you look shorter. So I would recommend getting a haircut that's a little bit cleaner, a little bit shorter, and a little bit more manageable and maintainable. It's going to actually make you look taller. Don't hate me. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> should be mad at your mom for, for getting knocked up by somebody short. <laughs> so the bottom line is this. That dressing better, dressing in a way that's going to elongate your body, is going to give you the illusion of being a bit taller and more proportionate. The sad reality is it's not going to get you faster service at a crowded bar. The tall guys, they're going to get waited on before you. We can't change genetics, but we can work on other things like our confidence and the way that we feel about ourselves, the way we carry ourselves, and the way that we present ourselves to everybody else. Now, I don't want your height to be a deciding factor of your happiness or the path you take to success. You can achieve anything you've ever wanted to achieve. You can get any girl, any guy you've ever dreamed possible. The key is to develop your character to develop your confidence and to carry yourself with dignity and respect. Walk tall, my friend. If you do that, instead of five foot one, you're going to be perceived as six foot four, and that's what counts. Not the six foot four part. The fact that you're carrying yourself with dignity and respect, and people see you coming and they know you mean business, even though you know we're short. It doesn't mean we. <laughs> Once again, I've got a way with words. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And stand tall, my friend. Bye-bye.